Hotep Aquarius. Welcome to your Twin Flame reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as the Cosmic Divine Tarot and uh, Aqua. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Lilith signs. If it resonates with you, baby, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages. Okay, Aquarius? Now, Aquarius, beginning this reading, I wanted you to know that I went ahead and bought this new oracle deck called the Barberry Zodiac Oracle, all right? Because I wanted to, you know, pull some Zodiac signs for you, Aquarius. And um, what came out after shuffling these bad boys about a hundred times is you may be dealing with a Pisces, all right? Uh, you also may be dealing with a uh, Virgo as well as a Scorpio, okay? Now, the Pisces is somebody who may be have two different type of personalities for you, Aquarius, or somebody just like that, like, you know, could be like a Gemini too, right? Uh, they have a side to them that's real nice, and they have another side to them that's real, like, gangster or mean or cruel. Now, the Virgo is somebody who is, like, uh, not an easy catch because this is, like, the virgin right here, okay? And the Scorpio is somebody who is, like, always brooding and uh, always to themselves and, you know, also very vengeful and, uh, what's the word, uh, possessive, okay? So you may be dealing with somebody like that. Let me go ahead and uh, show you that I'm going to use the Love Oracle Cards 3, all right? The Scorpio and the Pisces, as well as the Virgo, are very emotional signs, all right? Uh... Aqua, call upon my higher being, my ancestors, as well as Panathadu, the guardians, and the universe to get you this accurate message for your twin flame, baby. All right? So you're dealing with water and earth. Virgo is standing in for Capricorn as well as Taurus as well, okay? So we're talking about the element as well. But you have a lot of water out here. Let me get you one more shuffle. Okay, Aqua, how you doing, Aquarius? You doing all right today? That's good, baby. Let me go ahead and get you some messages. What uh, messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. That came out on an accident. What messages do we have for Aquarius, y'all? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay, core values, Aqua, all right? So we got the core values brought on the scene. Okay. What other messages do we have for Aqua? Thinking. Thinking. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody who is thinking about core values or their core values or, or who have a... There's too many cards, y'all. So many cards is coming on here. Okay. <laughs> There's too many cards. just blew out like that. Come on, y'all. Come on, family. Okay, what's this? The real deal. So somebody is thinking one of these signs, Pisces, uh, Virgo, Scorpio is up there thinking about the real deal. Thinking about being the real deal to the core of themselves. This is uh, taking a break. All right. So you're taking a break from your twin flame. What else we got? Leaving space. Golden mirror. All right. Here we go. Damn, Aqua. <coughs> Let me get something to drink here, baby. You're dealing with somebody who is talking about the real deal, but the golden mirror is under that. Escape artist. Alan R. Dude. Okay. One more card, family. One more card. All right. Baggage. There we go. There we go, Aqua. Okay, let's take a look at this then. Aquarius. 
Yeah, you got somebody, like I said, who has been thinking uh, while they've been separated from you. Or you have somebody who has been separated from you who has been thinking. <laughs> this is another way of saying the same thing I already said, Aqua. <laughs> but I will. Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and get back into the reading. This person is thinking of having, you know, uh, their core values re examined, all right? Because. They realize that you're the real deal, Aquarius. They know that at the core of who you are, that your ass is the real deal. As a matter of fact, you're the real deal all over. It's not just at the core of who you are. This person knows that you are the absolute person that they need in their life. Now, this person knows that you're seeking partners whose core values align with your own. You need somebody who is going to be the real deal too. And they're thinking about that while leaving space, all right, uh, for you in their life, okay? So this is somebody who you're taking a break from who is leaving space for you in their life. Now, what gets me is this daggone uh, golden mirror. This uh, self-absorbed narcissist or one-sided relationship love bombing, all right? So that's what they feel like they need to do, Aquarius. They need to come into your life on some bullshit and love bomb you. And because they know that the relationship is one-sided, okay? This person has a whole bunch of baggage, baby. I mean, they're carrying a whole bunch of, you know, shit all in the baggages and all on their shoulders. And the things that are happening in their life is something that you don't have in your life. You're not carrying this much garbage on your back, okay? Now, you're dealing with somebody who you're taking a break from also because this person is an escape artist. So, what did you do, Aquarius? It looks like you let this person go then. They didn't share the core values that you have. They didn't know how to be uh, consistent. They didn't know how to consistently show up with you. You always have to take a break from this person, all right? So what you're doing during your break from this person is, is going into meditation and centering yourself, allowing for a new perspective because maybe you just don't want to give this person no many no more chances because you gave them too many damn chances in the past, Aquarius. All right? You want to put yourself to the side, giving this person the fact that they need to go ahead and escape because a Pisces is an escape artist. Actually, the water signs, period, are escape artists. But the Virgo is supposed to be more grounded because it represents the damn earth energy. All right, so if you're dealing with a Virgo who was an escape artist, then that that's weird, Aqua. Maybe you need to escape from this daggone Virgo. Maybe this Virgo was on some bullshit and you needed to escape from this person, okay? All right, so anyway, getting back to the reading. Yeah, you just got tired of the relationship being one-sided and shit. Now, you just wanted somebody to be on the same level as you, Aquarius. You wanted somebody to be the real deal. So you got yourself a, 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 a list here of what it is that you're going to put up with and what it is that you just are not going to put up with. You know that you're a healthy, authentic, good choice for somebody. You just need somebody to be a healthy, authentic, good choice for your ass. You know, you're tired of dealing with these self-absorbed, you know, people who are just all into themselves and don't give a damn about nobody else. You're just tired of, of dealing with bastards like that who just want to keep escaping because they're not thinking about how you will be affected by something like that, Aquarius. They just go ahead and just... Leave you alone like your feelings don't mean shit or like you don't even have feelings. And let's look at the L and R dude here. So you just decide to go ahead and start loving yourself enough to accept only the best. You know, you let go, you're letting go of all the wrong people and you're being comfortable being alone. And you're leaving space for the one person who you are thinking about, okay? 
That's what this is saying to me too. You're thinking about somebody or you're manifesting somebody who you want to come into your life that you are leaving space in your heart because you're not going to be accepting any of these other past people, okay? This water sign, this earth sign. You're not going to be accepting them back into your life because you just ain't dealing with these type of people no damn more. Okay, Aqua? I mean, it's like the, the water and the air just does not make a, a good match. It just don't make a good match. It's like, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's not going to be something for you. Now, sometimes it can work. Sometimes it works for people, but it all depends on what else is in the chart of that water sign. If this water sign has too much water in it, then I don't feel that something like that's going to work for you, Aqua. Now, uh, because they just bring too much daggone baggage into your life and you've been attracting too many of these water signs into your life and you need to escape them too. You need to escape these people. You need to take a break from these people and leave space for the person in your life that you need, Aqua, who's going to come into your life that you just are going to manifest by the sheer fact that you're thinking about the attributes that this person has. Now, here's the uh, Manara cards that I went ahead and bought to Aqua. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to warn you about these cards, Aquarius. The uh, sexual magic cards is, is absolutely juvenile compared to this one, okay? <laughs> these cards are the real deal. They mean, they mean business, so I'm not going to pull too many of them. Not gonna pull too many of them because these cards are are some serious, some serious. <laughs> they talk about something real serious. Now I'm not saying that uh, what this is isn't serious because it is serious, Aquarius. It is serious because I know you're looking for love. You're looking for the right type of person. You're looking for these people uh, who to be sincere with you because it ain't like you ain't sincere with a motherfucker. It ain't like you ain't sincere with them. It ain't like you ain't sincere with uh your feelings and your intentions and everything else but you got these fools making you do all the damn work in a in a relationship and then think that if they love bomb you just once or twice or three times like you're gonna come back and do all the damn work again of christ you just ain't with that you're not with that shit no more it's just you know you just you just tired it out aquarius you just tired it out uh, you just ain't with that no more. Let me get you one more shuffle, baby. Whoa, the card slid out my hand. Hold on, baby. All right, <clears throat> get you one more shuffle. All right, let's go ahead and cut this back and see what the Manara has to say about this water sign, this earth sign that we be dealing with. Okay, I don't know why the fire element didn't come out, but this one looked like it could have some fire in it too underwater. So you could be dealing with fire too. What other messages do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? The Knight of Water. This is the Knight of uh, Chalices. Somebody who is like messy as all hell i mean look at this person this person is messy as all hell they're down in some type of uh looks like some type of sewer or something or it looks like they're in some type of pond maybe it could be in some type of pond these cards are new to me aqua so bear with me baby all right he looked like he's like in he's, he's in the water that's all that matters he's in the water and he got candles and and stuff all around him so it looks like maybe he has come into the realization that uh, he's done something to the Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> what are the messages we have for Aqua? We got the uh, Ten of Water. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with the water element. Look like Ten of Water looks like somebody who is still in the water. Around mountains and a damn volcano. It's a damn volcano, Aquarius. So they got some real hot and, you know, bothered feelings for you. They feel real emotional feelings for you. You know, these people are real emotional about you. And they have some severe 
strong feelings for you, but you're just tired of people not expressing that. Sh you're tired of feeling like a fool with these people because they ain't expressing it, Aquarius. They're not expressing how they feel about you. They're making you feel like a fool for even dealing with that ass. All right, you down here look like, you know, you're looking down at somebody who is playing like they're so hurt, but they're fake as hell because it looks like a a person made of wood. So they're not even being authentic with you. This is a person who is acting like you're supposed to be a damn fool when they're not even being real with you, when they're not even showing you how they feel, when they're not even telling you how they feel, Aquarius. So you're like, this is some bull crap. Uh-oh, here we got another card, baby. Dealing with more water. Two of water. Two of uh, chalices. All right? They expect you to be a fool and just keep offering up the kitty. They expect you to be a fool and just keep your legs open offering up the kitty. This is the, the uh, no, this is the nine. The nine of, um, of, uh, water. Okay, so they expect for you to just keep being some type of physical, uh, emotional, uh, you know, satisfaction and joy to their ass. But they're just, they expect to just keep holding in how they feel about you. And I can feel the frustration, Aqua. I can feel it coming from you because I'm an Aquarius too. And I'm telling you, baby, I know exactly how you feel, man, dealing with this water here. So here we got the five of air. Here we go, Aqua. You untold this water sign or the water element to kiss your ass. Because you just ain't trying to deal with them no damn more. You turned your back and told them to go ahead and kiss your ass. Because you ain't trying to deal with it no more. You're not going to be a fool for nobody no more. You'd rather just be alone until you manifest the right type of person, Aquarius. Let me go ahead and pull you some dark mirrors, baby. I'm going to go ahead and pull you some dark mirror. Because I know, I know, Aquarius. I know, I know, baby. It's some bullshit. When you up there expressing yourself and your love to somebody and they just, they just not saying a damn thing in return. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with escape artists is always got to take a break from somebody because they don't know how the hell they feel. Or, baby, they know how they feel, but they don't know how to process those feelings, Okay. They don't know how to process them things. They don't know how to come on out of their damn shell and tell you how they feel. Okay? So you're like, okay, well, <laughs> they don't realize the mind of an Aquarius can manifest what they really want. And all you got to do is speak it out to the universe. After you, after you thinking about it, what type of person that you need, Aquarius, because right now the universe is giving you whatever the hell you want. Because you dealt with a whole bunch of stuff and you were authentic. You were an authentic person while dealing with a bunch of fake and phony Lenny Lunchbox motherfuckers. Now, a Lenny Lunchbox is a fake motherfucker, okay? What other messages we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith? What other messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Okay. Here we go. Boom. Hiding your true self. So, Aqua, you're not hiding your true self anymore. You're not hiding the person who you are. Or or, or you're, you're not dealing with people who are hiding their true self. Hiding their feelings. Scared to express how they feel. You're telling all of them to kiss your ass. <clears throat> When these people are secretly addicted to you, secretly all in love with you and have all these feelings of emotions, but just, you know, not expressing them. Woo, Aqua. Let them go ahead and be addicted in the dark, in the murky waters, but you're no longer offering up the kitty, okay? You're no longer offering up the kitty to these fake-ass people, all right? You're no longer offering up the kitty to these fake-ass people. You're telling them to kiss your ass. The five of air, the five of swords came out here on this. Like, <laughs> you say I'm going to keep offering you my love. My 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 uh garden is going to keep being open for you. You can kiss my ass, okay? I mean, my entire ass is showing here, okay? 
Aqua, I feel you, baby. Just go ahead and, and stay by yourself until you manifest what it is that you deserve, Aquarius. Just go ahead and stay by yourself till you manifest what you deserve because you deserve the best. We deserve the best because we fucking give the best. That's why. We don't deserve nobody uh, acting like, you know, they're not going to show us back in return what we be showing them. Look, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that anymore, Aquarius. Those days are over. Aqua, if this reading resonates with you, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, Aquarius, then don't worry about it, baby. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get you on the flip side. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get you on the flip side, Aquarius. So until the flip side, peace, love, and light. Hold up, baby.